everybody. It's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. What I got for you this time is a item to binary to the Gecko Encoder, uh, Gecko Decoder linking system. Now, there's many ways that you can actually transfer the signals from a item to binary to the encoder, uh, to the decoder, to be able to use it, but this is uh, what I got for you. Here this is. It's fully expandable. You can expand it as big as you want based around uh, certain aspects of being uh, creative. But yeah, I've got this right here at 9. This is literally the whole entire thing. This thing will encode every, all of it. And this is the entire build. So, what do we got here, though? Well, this is pretty much a uh, mock version of how it would work. I've got tech. I've got five bits here, which is sixteen, but I only have it as one. So this is technically a four bit without the zero. So if we pick if we pick uh, some numbers like uh, two and four, which is six, and we hit this, it will reset the system activate it and one two three four five and six all right so let's uh, switch it to eight twelve thirteen and watch the reset 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 8 4 okay there's something that went wrong uh, might have hit the button too fast. That shouldn't matter. But yeah, this system actually does a full... Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> I didn't uh, pull down... I didn't let these uh, reset. <laughs> so yeah, if we activate it again, it'll reset. And then go right about there. Yep, see? And then... And I'm just using pulses here. I'm not using full signal strength. So the pulses are what's causing this. And it does a full reset. And because I am not using a zero, it will not. Yeah, you know, zero is literally just a reset. Reset. We'll reset all of it, locking everything back up to the way it should be. So, what do you say, guys? Let's get to building this thing. All right, guys, we're back. So let's take a look at what we need. Now, I'm going to explain something. This entire row is per bit you're having. Okay, so all the bits, this is what you're going to need. And this right here is for the start system. And this is just a random item for the dropper. Okay, so we need total uh, at least two, uh, and it's per uh, per bit, so it's per slice. Two pistons, three observers, four solid blocks, two transparent, uh, at least one transparent block. You don't need two, and uh, yeah, <laughs> one dropper, one hopper, one comparator, one trapdoor of any type. Powered rails, activator rails, redstone, dust. Only options you have for those. Then we have the fill item for the dropper. Then for our start system, we have the pit, we need two pistons, 13 observers, four solid blocks, and two more trapdoors. So let's grab all of this. And first thing is. We are going to start with just an observer going down into a solid block, going into a dropper, uh, going uh, with a hopper facing into it, item in the dropper. Now, this right here is our system that will start everything. Okay, so that's for each slice. A block next to that. Any block you want there with a comparator, 
a piston on that, on uh, the face of it going down with a solid block. A transparent block doesn't have to be glass, it could be whatever you want. On the neck, on on the glass block with it up, a trap door. You could, if it's down, you could use it on it on there. In other words, there's a gap between the piston and the trap door. An observer with a solid block, a, a piston going in, up in, next to the solid block. Grab an observer. Place it next to this transparent block. One below the comparator. Any random block you want with a yeah, with your detect your power system. And that's it with everything. So then all you have to do is just take observer output from there and build the gecko encoder. Yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> So I'm just going I'm going to build this just a total of four times just so that we have a, so you guys have a nice uh, look at it and you can and it can be built this fast if you have all the resources ahead of time And the reason why I'm using glass there is because glass is a, it doesn't matter. You could, like I said, any transparent block will work. So if with the four sets that we have here, let me grab you. Like I said, this right here is our input. It doesn't matter. So from here. What we're going to do is place a solid block on the side that our item uh, that our items are coming in from are the rail line for the encoder uh, for the item to binary. That's we're going to put this block there with a, an observer going down into the block with a trap door on top of that. And observe uh, a solid block on top of that. An observer going down. And on top of that observer going towards the line or binary line. And that's what I'm just going to call this side right here is our binary line. And this is going to be our, uh, this is going to be the input line. And that's nothing. So on the input line. We'll place one going there. Going next to that one, we'll place one up. Add four more. Add one going out, and then form, and then fill in the rest here. That just adds a little delay. Put a trap door underneath there. Put a piston going down off of a solid block at the very end of the line. We'll place a solid block, a temporary block. That's for the observer. That's for the piston. So we'll throw a piston in line with the observer there. And an observer there. And all we our start system is powering that piston. So if I grab this, it'll start the system, push it down, everything will go. Perfectly. Everything works the way it's supposed to. And if I place those there, we've got two. That one and that one. And if I place them here again, the other ones are down. And its system is able to reset. And due to the delay we have, like I have over uh, that one, you can actually, anytime the system is going to get activated, you can have the reset happen also. So, 
that's the advantage to this thing is you can have your reset line <laughs> attached to this, uh, the uh, this part. And like I said, it's all bait, uh, and this is just pulses. Um, just making the pulses, and uh, in fact, actually, uh, gonna turn that off real fast. Eh? Nothing's gonna happen. Activate this one, and we'll get number sixteen. Bam! <laughs> See. And it keeps the signals uh, separate, which is the important part, keeping our signals separate. So, we're, and I am continually trying to upgrade the binary sorter with minor, even minor little components. The composters there are just to cut down on lag, and that's it. There is, you could use... composters here if you want it does it's anything you can do to reduce the lag will help but you're gonna eh, but you're making a massive intelligence sorter so it's gonna produce a decent amount of lag anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it leave a like if you have any questions or comments you can leave it down in the comment section or join me on my discord link to that will be in the description will support me you can subscribe but you guys this is the redstone wizard enjoy building <laughs>